Thank you very much, uh, Sunny. The uh, closure of the borders actually uh, impacted negatively on businesses uh, across the border towns here in the Upper East Region and even in the uh, regional capital because um, the Upper East Region, we have a lot of approved uh, borders here uh, where the uh, our counterparts or the uh, people in the other parts of the country, that is the Burkina Faso, Togo, um, they all come to Ghana and do business and Ghanaians also go to the other end for businesses and because of the closure of the land borders, it has just affected them seriously that they cannot move there freely uh, to do their business and a lot of them they depend on the these businesses they will use to uh practice just or to do to just uh for their livelihood but as we speak um because of the closure they cannot move in there because when you move to boku a lot of the people there are uh, traders or are into business and you move to Namo, you move to uh, Paga, all of them are into business so the closure of the borders have really impacted negatively on their activities how did they receive the news of the directive given by ECOWAS and the fact that member states, including Ghana, is preparing to uh, roll out measures and reopen its borders ahead uh, of the deadline? They receive it in a good faith. They are so happy about that decision or the directive by the ECOWAS to um, uh, make sure they uh, open their borders to allow them move freely and then uh, go in there and then do their business. Because uh, when you move to Paga border, for instance, um, very soon the tomato traders or women who trade in tomatoes from the southern part of the country, uh, Kentampo, Kumasi, uh, Accra, uh, and the other areas in their country, they normally go there for these their business. But because there was a closure, even though there wasn't a closure of uh, goods and services like moving a, a goods from that part of the country and from this place to that end, but there are some women who actually go there and buy in their, like they buy in a small quantities and come to Ghana and sell. These women were not allowed when they are going there. Um, they always face a lot of challenges. And then you move to uh, uh, places like um, Pulmakum, that is in the Pusika district, and then you move to uh, Kulugugu, also in the Pusika district. These borders, the women, the they do butter trade where they carry uh, share butter across the, the, the other country. That is in Sankasi, uh, B2, Sankanduri, just to sell and then uh, buy some other uh, cereals there to come and then at least uh, prepare something for their family. But because of the closure of the borders, they were not having that chance to go there. So it is just a uh, welcoming. They are really happy about the decision by ECOWAS. Uh, Samuel, keep your eye on the development to we'll be coming back for more in our subsequent bulletins.